come on, come on. Go big. Yes. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. Let's do this. Let's go up to the face and see how it looks like. What do I have in my pockets? I have some uh, poo paper if you need to, if there's an accident. I actually got I had to poop on the glacier the other day. No way. Hi. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. Why are you reckoned? Early morning, I think the Lucas Rides. I think now it's the perfect timing. I think the snow will be really good on the Lucas Rides. Do you think that will be like crusty, difficult to turn snow? Or do you think it will be skiable? You know, if you come with speed and stuff. I think it's going to be skiable. How many degrees do you think it is, Elizabeth? How many what? Degrees. I would say seven. Seven? What do you say? I would say, in the sun, cooking, yeah. 25. <laughs> <laughs> it's warm. We're tanning. Um, so the two-run format means that we get multiple opportunities and we might get some slush in the evening. We, the girls are going first, so we're definitely going to ski some hard-packed snow. <laughs> Let's see what the guys, I want to chat to the guys. I haven't seen them. They should be here. Hi, Sam Hedvig. Hi, Carl. How are you doing? It's good. It's good, right, Sam? Det går bra då. Ja, det är er deilig nå. Mye, mye varmt. Jag tycker att det är ut på bilderna. Vad tror du om eh, flips och tricks och såna? Ja, vi har ju två och det är er bara kör. Jag funderar på typ en ja. backflip på en vänster det. Ja. Ja, oh, ja så. Har du tränat på dem i vinter eller? Ja, ja, jag har gjort det nu i 30 ja. år. Ja. <laughs> Still powdery. Like way better than I expected. I highly recommend you guys to see from the top as I think you can have a much better feeling while you're up there. Do you want to go to the top? Yes. Okay, let's do that. But should we go tra- like or like go up here and then traverse over to like around the trees to hopefully look at the takeoffs? Yeah. From the top actually it looked quite bad the first part but then I'm like trying to listen to Tao because he was like it's better than it looks. So yeah, I feel good. I feel like I definitely feel less uh, nervous and stressed because you can see everything from the top. And I have been skiing this venue before. In Canada, I felt like I'm in such a good position. I'm leading. I should, you know, give 110%. I can crash. And that was my thought. Like I, I was scoping to do a backflip and a 360 or just the 360, and I was looking, really looking for somewhere to do it, but I didn't really find it, and coming down and not being able to do anything, like I totally missed my line. It definitely took some time to like, kind of recover from that and get back into my strengths, and uh, yeah, I feel better now. So I'm pretty excited for tomorrow. Ski fast, have fun. Ski fast, have fun. Ski fast, have fun. I love that. That was so good. And you say that every time before you drop bass. At least in my head, for sure. Yeah. And sometimes out loud. And usually out loud. <laughs> wow, the face is getting some sun. I didn't realize that was the face for your skiing when I first got here because I was alone. And I was like, oh, thank God they never put us on anything that scary. Yeah. <laughs> Quite good visibility so far, so let's just get this over with. <laughs> okay, yep. Welcome to Austria. Fieberbrunn is the spot for the first stop in the FWT finals. Get to the early zone. Yep. <laughs> let's do this. forward to seeing what ski women bring today they've got a big job uh, dropping in with with the coldest most frozen snow but I think they are ready for the task let's also remember that the points that they'll uh, get at the top of the podium are worth 25 percent more so if you're looking for that title championship this is uh, it's all to play for today well speaking of pushing Hedvig Vessel has been pushing the sport forward on the freestyle side of things with huge backflips all across the world off gigantic cliffs. A slightly different take on the takeoff from Hedvig. Yeah, with the slough, oh, straight, that was bolts as well. 
Yeah, making these tricky conditions look easy. Hedvig is ripping it. Yeah, I'm just. Didn't go. No. I mean, maybe, but I didn't have enough speed. When you yeah. hear the backflip queen say the backflip doesn't go, that's uh, <laughs> that's a good ad indication the backflip oh, doesn't go. So yeah. Hedvig putting herself yeah. into yeah. third there, 68, Three, six, yeah. seven. I kind of need some a hat, Elizabeth. Do, can, is that a peak hat? Um, when I came down for my first run, I was like, I don't want to go up again. Yeah. You know, you're like, you're waiting, and especially with the clouds. Like, mm. it, did, it wasn't like we were like waiting for 10 minutes and yes. then went up. We were like waiting for one and a half hour. And then we like, vroom, we fell down a little bit. Yes. But then I was like, I have the possibility to step it up. Okay. I have to just do it. Vessel now. in third spot after run number one. What I love about Hit Big Skiing is that she's got such incredible technique. She's got a strong moguls background and she just makes quick work of really difficult snow. And she's going up to this upper deck takeoff, getting a bit of direction, perfectly executed. I mean, the way she took the hustle clip right off the top ropes and then absolute bolts. It was such a clean landing. I'm trying to do a backflip. I'm just missing it. Coming in quick right now, 80.33 for Hedvig Vessel, putting her into second place. By the way, do you want sunscreen? No, maybe a little bit on your nose? <laughs> Please take a little bit, yes. Right back up, Elizabeth Garrison. She was second after run number one with oh, a 71. On. Is she gonna Look be? Big. Catching yes. the backside of a bomb hole, but managing it doesn't look oh, like nice. she even got sat down. Oh, yeah. she made it. Oh, fuck, I should be a commentator. How's your legs? Pretty heavy. <laughs> so hard. So 79 00. You said we're going to see the veterans come back to the top. And that's exactly what we saw here. Hedvig Vessel now jumping up into second. So really, really shaking things up here in the overall. Yeah, the feel is so nice to be back on a little bit better face. Uh, Bein of mine brenner som fan. Men uh, det er her vi skal være, og vi trenger flere sånne face, det er helt sikkert. Right now, Christopher Turdell gonna kick things off for run number two for ski men. And Turdell now up high on the ridge, dropping in. Flying there with the save of the century, Christopher Turdell, unbelievable. Pulled it back, floats a three off the wind lip. Christopher Turdell laying out the back flip there, stomping it far on the last one. This time with a 360 clean, Christopher Turdell, unreal run. 91-3-3, so Christopher Turdell slotting himself into second place. So we are moving on to Carl Regner Eriksson onto the right side, nice and clean. Is he gonna do it? Carl does, and perfectly clean. Big three. 92 six, seven, yes. which means that Carl drops into go. second Move place. Up. Carl Regner Eriksson jumping his way up the rankings into second, and Christopher Turdell going from bad side of the cut before kicking horse to now in third overall and well within striking distance if things go his way in Verbier. We almost won. We won in our hearts. I'm happy though. I just really want to do a trick. Yeah. And I'm like looking for it, but I... I miss your backflips. Yeah, me too. They are so good. You wanted to do it, right? Yeah, and then I came too low. Yeah, I saw that. Both me and Grimsoff were like, yeah, she's going to do it. Yeah. Like, oh, no, you're too low. Yeah, but I, I didn't know where you to go. You didn't see it. Oh, no, because okay. I didn't see I was like, where is it, where is it, where is it? And I'm like, I see. Okay. I'm definitely not here. Yeah. I cannot do it now. What, what's happening now? Then? The yellow bibs. Oh. We get it in Verbia. Is it time for beer now? Uh, breakfast. I would like some breakfast. Oh my god. I'm actually breakfast. super hungry. I have uh, one cup of coffee this morning. Oh, oh fuck it. Oh, yes! Woo! Femtes <laughs> gud. No, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Oh, my Nice. We shouldn't spill this. So this mic'd up has probably been very politically correct because she's a serious athlete. So tune in for Verbier. It's not going to be the same. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Very fine. I think that's a compliment. Yeah, actually you should. <laughs> there will be snooze, there will be beer, and there will be champagne. 
<laughs> nice. I'm, I'm excited for that. I'll join that. Cool. Yeah. Take it back. I'll take it <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah, I'll give it to you. <laughs> there you go. Thank you.